Hey Ronan, I just wanted to show you how to format this in Google Docs. Um, I didn't get to read it yet, but whatever. So this part, I'm going to center it like that. And to separate it out a little bit, I might make it bold, right? Now this part down here, I want it to be indented for every paragraph. Now I could do that with the tab button on my keyboard, but I'm going to do a little shortcut. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight everything and I'm going to set this little tab first line indent over half an inch. So now it's doing every single one. Now it starts to show me what you did with yours, so I have to fix it. Anytime we have dialogue like this, we should start a new paragraph. Okay, So that drops it down so then we know this is one speaker and then this is another speaker. Now something like this, I'm going to bring it back up here so that it's all part of that. I'm looking at it, I see another bit of dialogue here, so I'm going to hit it like that. Looks like we've got an extra space in there, I'm going to do that. Now we need the address, right? The address is given by another character, so I'm going to move it down to the next line. Bring this back together. This is somebody else. So now as you can see, I'm working my way down this, it's like here's the 911 operator, here's the one person talking, 911 operator, one person talking, okay? Um, when we do something like this, every now and then it's a good idea to put who's speaking afterwards. So 911, what's your emergency? Um, we pretty much know who that is, right? This part, my daughter, she's bleeding, blah, blah, blah. Great. What is the address? The operator asked. Boom. Um, boom, boom, boom. Here's the next person. We probably need to make sure it says street. Got it? And since this is someone talking, um, we're probably going to have to say West Jason Crusoe Avenue yep. and Maple Street. Boom. We're on our way. Lacey wasn't moving, so this is the next part here. Boom. That's the next part. This period should go right on here inside the quotations because it's part of that sentence right there. So I'm going to keep working on this and kind of adjust it, but you'll see how different it's going to look than your other one. So hopefully that helps.